The Kraft Foods Company presents The Great Gildersleeve. Yeah. It's The Great Gildersleeve, starring Harold Perry, brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of parquet margarine and a complete line of famous quality food products. Now let's join The Great Gildersleeve, who was up early this morning. There's a nip of autumn in the air, but Gildersleeve is taking his morning bath just the same. And we can hear him. Life and I want to live. I love soap. Darn soap. <laughs> oh well. I love life and I want to live. Boy, these hot cakes are really super. Shoot the syrup, will you, Marge? Here. Leroy, you don't have to drown them. Oh, what's it to you? You waste so much syrup. I won't waste any. I'll use it up with some more cakes. Your table manners are disgusting. You'll be sorry if you're ever invited out anywhere. I got swell manners when I go out. Gosh, did you hear Uncle singing up there? He feels swell today. I know. I know why, too. Yeah, why? Mrs. Ransom is coming home today. Gosh, is that any reason for him to go crazy? Singing isn't crazy. <laughs> No, but he shaved twice. <laughs> and he gave me 75 cents to go to the football game next Saturday. Didn't even argue. You'll understand someday, little boy. Ah, you think everything is love. Romance. I love life. Here comes the great lover now. <laughs> hey, Bertie, Unc's coming down. Hi. Well, good morning, Marjorie. Good morning, Unky. I told Bertie you were here, Unc. I heard you, my boy. Is uh, that a new shirt, Anki? It's lovely. PK. I bought it yesterday. It looks so rich. Post-war shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been able to buy this kind of stuff. Oh, good morning, Bertie, thou priceless jewel. Good morning, Mr. Gilles, please. You want eggs or hotcakes this morning? Take the hotcakes, Anki. That's super. You've uh, tested them thoroughly, have you, Leroy? Yeah, I'll say. He's been eating like a pig. <laughs> well, there's a certain amount of pig in every boy, my dear. <laughs> I'll try the cakes, Bertie. Yes, sir. I got some bad news for you, Mr. Gilsey. Well, bad news, eh? What is it? The refrigerator's on the blink. The milkman says we'll have to have a new motor. Oh, well, I'd expect it someday. I'll attend to it this morning. Positively? Positively. Bring on the hot cakes. Yes, sir. If the stove is still working. <laughs> <laughs> well, glorious morning, isn't it, children? Yeah, it's a pip. Say, Anki. Yes, my dear? Oh, never mind. What is it, Marjorie? Nothing. I was going to ask you for something, but I won't. It'd be taking advantage of you. What do you mean? Well, you're happy this morning, and I know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, my smart little niece. Well, if you're too nice to ask for anything, I'll have to be nice, too. You can go down to Hogan Brothers and get anything you want up to $5. Oh, Anki. Oh, Anki, you're a darling. You think so? Uh-huh. Yeah, that reminds me. <laughs> I've got to make an important phone call. Will you excuse me, children? Surely, Uncle Mark. How do you like that? Five dollars. All I got was a lousy football ticket. <laughs> Behind the goalposts. <laughs> I didn't ask for anything. Oh, no. Hello, Summerfield Grill. This is Rockmorton P. Gildersleeve. This is Water Commissioner Gildersleeve. Yes. I'd like to reserve a table for two at luncheon today, please. About one o'clock. Uh, Gus, I wonder if you could give me that little booth in the corner. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. For corn's sake, I could have had a seat on the 50-yard line. Hello, Floyd. Can you take care of me pretty soon? Why, right, sure. Come on in. Take off your coat. I got a friend of yours under the towel here, but he'll be through in a minute. A friend, eh? Well, let's see. Uh, who do I know with big, flat feet? 
and a little round pot belly. Why, you? Yeah, and the voice sounds familiar. Is that his nose sticking up there like Fujiyama? Now, you see here, Gildersleeve. Well, Judge Hooker, I never thought it was you. Oh, you're not fooling me for a minute. If I were as fat as you, I'd go slow making fun of other people. I'll have you know, Horace, that I've taken three inches off my stomach this summer. You have? Looks like you just moved it around the rear. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Judge. (laughs) Uh, uh, hmm. What's the matter, Commissioner? Can't you enjoy a joke? Yeah, where's your sense of humor, Gildy? I'd like a mustache trim, Floyd, if you're through with this comedian. Fire right up there, Commissioner. I'll make you look like Ronald Coleman. Don't strain yourself, Floyd. (laughs) Getting pretty up for a certain party, Gildy? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Well, I don't know who you're trying to fool, Throckmorton. It was in the paper she's coming home today. Oh, that widow, Mrs. Ransom. Yeah, I saw that in the paper. Well, who the devil put it in the paper? Leela probably wrote the society editor. She always calls up when she's giving a party. Publicity. Why do people want it? Women, they're the ones that like it. Every time my mother-in-law comes over from Sauk City, my wife calls up the paper. Mr. and Mrs. Floyd Munson are entertaining Mrs. Munson's mother for a brief visit. When she finally goes home, they print that, too. (laughs) The mustache, Floyd. I can't spend the day here. Okay, Commissioner. The old lady keeps a scrapbook. She's got that item pasted in there 20 times. Floyd! Okay. Going to meet Leela Gilday? I thought of it. How'd it be if I'd go along? Give her a little surprise. Hey, I got a better idea. Why don't we all go down and meet her? The Jolly Boys are getting together tonight anyway. Mrs. Ransom is coming in early this afternoon. Oh, that's too bad. We could have a lot of laughs. Why don't I try to round the boys up right now? She'd probably get a big kick out of it. I don't think so, Floyd. It wouldn't be very dignified. Dignified? The girl likes a little fun, don't she? I always thought she did. <laughs> I don't care to hear your thoughts regarding Mrs. Ransom, Floyd. And I'm opposed to the whole idea of the Jolly Boys meeting her. Mr. Gildersleeve is right, Floyd. Thank you, Horace. I think the nicest thing would be if just you and I went down to meet her, Gildy. Oh, why, you nosy old goat. Uh, Gildy, we'll give Leela a nice surprise together. I gotta go to my office for a few minutes, but I can meet you at the station. What train is she coming in on? Uh, what train? Yeah. Uh, the uh, 1215 train, Judge. All right, I'll be there. Here, Floyd. Thanks, Judge. See you at the station, Gildy. <laughs> well, he kind of put one over on you there, didn't he, Commissioner? You think so, Floyd? Uh-huh. <laughs> Finish me up. I got to get out to the airport. <laughs> Trying to make this one-horse airport sound like LaGuardia Field. Well, only one gate must be gate one. Oh, just wait here, please, sir. Only passengers and employees come through. Oh. Uh, Say, aren't you the fellow that was talking through the loudspeaker? Yes, that was me. Huh. Why don't they let the people off? They're coming now, sir. Oh, yes. (laughs) Oh, there she is. Leela! Leela! She's waving. I guess she sees me. Yes, I guess so. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, wasn't it darling of you to come and meet me? Well, Leela. <laughs> Am I glad to see you? Mm. Oh, Throckmorton, what will people think? <laughs> anybody can kiss anybody in railroad station. But this is an airport. Well, if the airlines outlaw kissing, they'll lose a lot of customers, I can tell you that. <laughs> Uh, where's your baggage, Leela? Oh, well, this is all I have, this little bit of handbag. I got so many new clothes down home, I had to buy a trunk, and they won't let you take a trunk on a flying machine. Oh, well. <laughs> let me carry your handbag. Oh, then. thank you, Throckmorton. Come on, Leela, let's get in the car. All right. Oh, I wonder if I could make a phone call first. There must be a booth here. Well, sure, only watch your hurry. Well, it won't take but a second, Throckmorton. Well, the booth's right over there. I'll wait here at the newsstand. Oh, you're a darling. I won't be a minute now. What a girl. Ah, George, it must be great down south. Imagine a whole town full of Leela's. 
Did you want a magazine, sir? Are you running the newsstand, too? Yes, but I'm closing it up now. I've got to go over and open up the ticket office. Well, for... <laughs> Was not quick? Oh, you certainly were, Lena. Come on now, we'll drive into town. I'm taking you to lunch at the Summerfield Grill. And I hope that guy isn't the waiter. <laughs> I've reserved a booth, Leela. Oh, Throckmorton, if I'd only known. Well, what's the difference? Surprise. Well, it's simply sweet of you to have thought of it, and I'm heartbroken I can't go. Can't go? Well, I'd counted on it, Leela. A nice lunch, and then maybe a nice drive out by the reservoir. Oh, it sounds... It sounds heavenly. Well, come on. Well, I can't, Throckmorton. I just called my hairdresser, and if I get there in 15 minutes, she can take me. Hairdresser? Leela, are you standing me up for that? Oh, now, darling, I was hoping I might see you tonight after supper. I was hoping to see you this afternoon. <laughs> I'll be lots prettier this evening, and I've got a new dress I think you like. At least I hope so. New dress? Mm -hmm. Leela, you haven't got the dress in this little bitty handbag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop around right after supper. God. <laughs> back with the great Gildersleeve in just a moment. Mr. Lang, didn't you make a slight error at the start of this program? Why, no, not that I know of. Well, I thought I heard you say the Kraft Foods Company presents the great Gildersleeve. That's just what I said, the Kraft Foods Company. But isn't the name Kraft Cheese Company? Not anymore. From now on, it's the Kraft Foods Company. Because, you see, the Kraft Company not only makes a wide variety of fine cheese and cheese foods, but also is known for many other top-quality food products. For example, parquet margarine. Parquet is one of my favorites. Such a delicious spread for bread, hot toast, and rolls. It's a favorite of millions, because parquet margarine has a fresh, delicate flavor that is still unmatched by any other brand. I found it's economical, too. Only about half the price of costly spreads. And don't forget, the maker of this delicious, economical spread is the Kraft Foods Company. I stand corrected, Mr. Lang. I'll remember. Kraft Foods Company. That's right. P-A-R-K-A-Y. Parquet Margarine. Made by the Kraft Foods Company. Try it soon. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> Well, now let's see what's in store for Gildersleeve. That's what the great man himself is wondering as he sits twiddling his thumbs at his desk in the water department. But perhaps we'd get a better idea if we looked in on Peavy's drugstore, where the proprietor is welcoming back an old customer. Sure, it's nice to see you back, Mrs. Ransom. <laughs> oh, it's nice to be back. Uh, what kind of a summer did you have, Mr. Peavy? He's quiet, quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Mrs. Peavy, how's she? No, she can't complain. Or, or perhaps I shouldn't say that. She, on the whole, she's been pretty well. Oh, that's good. Uh, tell me, Mr. Peavy, how is Mr. Gildersleeve these days? Mr. Gildersleeve? Well, he was in here the other day for a bottle of rhubarb and soda, but I don't believe it was anything serious. Just a temporary upset. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, what's he been up to this summer? Well, I really couldn't say. Mm, nothing new, then. Well, you know Mr. Gildersleeve. He, he's hard to keep track of. One day it's one thing, the next day it's something else. <laughs> Aren't you right? Was there uh, something, Mrs. Ransom? Oh, oh, yes. I, I want to get a lipstick. I'm afraid I lost mine on the plane. Lipstick, yes, indeed. I, I seem to have quite a selection here. Ah. Here's one that's put out by Hubigan, a reliable firm. Has good wearing qualities, so they tell me. Mm-hmm. And then uh, here's one that goes by the name of First Blush. That's the name of the color. Oh, I, I'm afraid that would be a little lie. I've got another one here that's called Shame. I take it that's a little redder. <laughs> well, uh, why 
What's this one? Uh, just let me see that. Oh, yes. Yeah. This one is called Savage Dawn. Is that more the kind of thing you had in mind? Well, that's very nice, too. Now, if you were a man, Mr. Peavy, which of these colors would you prefer? Well, I'd say that either of them ought to do the same. But uh, which do you react to yourself, personally? Well, I, I don't know anything about these things, Mrs. Ransom. I, I just tell them. I, ladies come in here asking for them, so I have to stop them, but... I guess they're both good serviceable lipsticks. Oh, you're so old-fashioned, Mr. Peavy. You probably think any woman is a hussy if she even uses lipstick. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll just have to decide for myself, ma'am. You know, I think I prefer Savage Dawn. <laughs> is that wicked of me? Mrs. Ransom, the way things are going these days, I don't know how anybody's going to tell what's good and what's bad. (laughs) I just try to break even myself. (laughs) Now, it'll be one dollar. Oh, there you are. And uh, two cents for the governor. (laughs) Oh, yes, I keep forgetting. Grab it up for you? Oh, don't bother. I'll just put it in my handbag. Well, goodbye, Mr. Peavy. Goodbye, Mrs. Ransom, and good luck with your lipstick. Lipstick. <laughs> Booby traps. <laughs> Wonder who she's after this time. Good old Throck Martin, always early. Oh, thank goodness I'm dressed. Throck Martin, is that you down there? Yes. Who are you expecting? Oh. <laughs> Silly, the door's open. Go in the parlor and make yourself comfortable, you hear? I'll be right down. Now, do I look all right? Is anything showing? Uh, how's my hair? Well, it'll have to do. My lipstick. My new lipstick. Where is it? I had it in my handbag. No, no, I took it out. Now, where did... Leela, darling, what are you hurrying for? Don't you remember what Mama said? Always keep them waiting. <laughs> What's she doing up there? Forty-five minutes by the clock. Ye gods. I could be doing things. I could be at the Jolly Boys right now. I could be home paying bills. I could be reading a book even, but no. Eight o'clock, she said. (laughs) Just wait till she comes down here. I'll give her a piece of my mind. Yes, by Georgia. Oh, hello, Leela. Good morning, darling. Have I kept you waiting terribly long? Not at all. I just arrived, practically. Oh. I'm so glad. I was afraid I might have kept you waiting. Oh, do sit down. Uh, thanks. Well, aren't you glad to see me? Aren't you glad I'm back? Oh, of course I am. Gosh. Then what are you sitting way over there for? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's better. I hate having to shout across the room, don't you? Hate it. Here yeah, we can talk nice and comfortably. A whisper even, if we had anything to whisper. I know something. What? How about a little kiss? No. Come on. No. I'm very angry with you, Throckmorton. What for? Because you never once wrote to me all summer. Gosh, I've been busy, Leela. You don't know how busy I've been. I've been terribly busy, really. I kept intending to write to you, but... I know. You were busy. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter in the slightest, Throckmorton, because if you had written to me, I should probably just have torn the letter up. Why? (laughs) Too busy to read it. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, George, you've got a great sense of humor, Leela. That's what I always say. As long as a girl's got a sense of humor, I don't care if she's... Well, that's the main thing, a sense of humor. You don't care if she's what, Rock Mom? (laughs) Nothing. (laughs) What kind of a summer did you have, Leela? How was Savannah? Did you have fun? Well, yes and no. It was all terribly complicated. I'll tell you about it sometime. What's the matter with right now? Right now, I'd rather forget. Oh? That's what I came back up here for, to forget. 
Forget who? What? His name is Lightfoot Dupree. <laughs> Lightfoot? Oh, Throckmorton, why don't things ever work out? Why doesn't what work out? Who is this guy? What's this all about? Well, it was just one of those things, I guess. He was engaged to my very best friend, the girl I was visiting all this time. So, naturally, there was nothing I could do about it. Did you try? Throckmorton, she was my very best friend. The worst of it was I found out he was in love with me, too. Terribly in love. That's why I cut my visit short. Cut it short? You were down there three months. <laughs> I thought you were coming back the first of August. Well, anyway, that's why I've come back, to try to forget. Well, you've come to the right place, Leela. You want to forget? I'll be glad to help you. Let's start right now. <laughs> As if I could ever forget Lightfoot Dupree. Yes, Oh, well, I guess it was just one of those things that could never be. Sure, forget it. What do you want to feel sad for, Leela? I'm here. Why, I gave up an evening with the Jolly Boys just to be here with you tonight. Oh, did you, Throckmorton? Aren't you sweet? Sure, I could be playing poker right now. <laughs> oh, Throckmorton, you're so understanding. I can be a lot more understanding than this. Mm, you knew I'd be needing you this evening. You will help me forget, won't you? Will I? Yeah. Throckmorton, what was that? Me? Oh, no. No, I thought I heard a sound outside. I didn't hear anything. Sounded like prowlers on the porch. Now, don't you worry, Leela. I'm here. Oh, it's so wonderful to have a man around the house. Leela, now how about it, huh? A little kiss. Do you always have to ask? Yeah. Jock, Martin, don't move. Why not? The window. Look, it's opening. Leela, hold me tight. <laughs> and now you throw. Oh, the Jolly Boy. Why those? All right, fellas, that's very funny. Now get out of here. Go on and get off the property. Beat it. Do you want me to call the police? Police? Who do you think is singing bass? <laughs> Leela, I apologize. I don't know what's gotten into them. I'll go out there and get rid of them. Oh, don't send them away, please. That would be terrible. After the way they behave? Well, I think it's delightful to be serenaded like this on my first evening home. I think it's very flattering. Uh, let me speak to them. Won't you gentlemen come in? What's she getting? Oh, no offense, old man. Just a little joke on the commissioner. Oh, gracious, I should say not. Come right in. And Mr. Peavy. And the fellas got me into this, Mrs. Ransom. I was just on my way home. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Horace. Welcome home, Leela. Oh, Horace, I'm glad to see you. It's good to see you, Leela. I would have met you at the airport if our fat friend here hadn't played me a dirty trick. <laughs> I resent that. I'm not fat. Well, you've got even with him, Judge. Oh, Mrs. Ransom, you know Mr. Munson. Oh, sure. Hiya, Mrs. Ransom. How's it going? Close the door, Floyd. You were the last one in. Yes. Where were you brought up? In a barn? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, I just think it was wonderful of all you boys to come over like this. I'm so flighted. I was telling Truck Martin it reminds me of Mardi Gras when all the men go around serenading the girls. Now, if Mr. Peavy were just wearing a funny face... What's the matter with the one he's got on? <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding, Pete. <laughs> Say, that's an idea. Why don't we serenade the lady as long as we're here? Yeah, why not? Oh, do sing. I'd love to hear you. Oh, we do pretty good on Home on the Range, huh, fellas? <laughs> How about it, Commissioner? You take the lead. No. Oh, come on, Commissioner. Oh, do sing, Throckmorton, please. No. Why not? I'll play the piano for you. I don't want to. All right, Floyd, you take the lead. What do we sing? Well, let's see. Uh... There is a tavern in the town. No, no! Oh, your tavern. <laughs> well, what would it be, then? Oh, the moonlight's fair tonight along the water. From the field there comes the No, man. no, no. Terrible. What's terrible about it? Everything. I don't like the song. I don't like the way you sing it. Well, you know so much. Let's hear you sing something. And while we're about it, I don't like you fellas coming over here and busting in like this. Can't you take a joke? Oh, boys, mm. boys. Yes. Let's remember, there's a lady present. Let's be jolly boys, shall we? After all, this is supposed to be a tribute to the fair sex. That's right. It's a tribute to the fair sex. Say, how about... I dream of Jeannie with a light. Oh, I love that one, Horace. That's one of my very favorites. Do sing it. Yeah, Jeannie. 
I dream. Yeah, okay. Just a minute, please. Lord. Just one minute. Huh? If you're going to sing, for heaven's sake, let somebody <laughs> sing the song who can sing it. Had a boy commission. Had a boy. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'll do this, Leela, and see if we can repair the damage. I dream of Leela. Yeah, yeah. With the light brown hair. Born like a zephyr on the summer air. I see her tripping where the bright streams play. Happy as the daisies that dance in her way. Many were the wild notes her merry voice would pour. Many were the blithe birds that warbled them o'er. I dream of Leela with a light brown hair, floating like a zephyr on the soft summer, on the summer The great Gildersleeve will be back again in just a moment. There's a well-known saying that names make news, and a few days ago, this change in a time-honored name made news in the food world. It was an announcement that the Kraft Cheese Company has changed its name to Kraft Foods Company. And here's the reason. Throughout 40 years, Kraft has built a reputation as maker of some of the world's finest cheese and cheese foods. But over the years, Kraft has created other top-quality food products. So the new company name is designed to include all these quality foods. And, of course, one of these important foods is parquet margarine, the delicious spread for bread that's a favorite of millions because of its superior quality and its fresh, delicate flavor. So in the future, look for the new name, Kraft Foods Company, on each package of delicious, economical parquet margarine. <laughs> You, Leela. Are a blend of the western skies and the moonlight beams on the girl of my dreams. She's the sweetheart of six other guys. <laughs> Good night, Leela. Good night, everybody. Yeah. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Harold Perry and is written by John Wheaton and Sam Moore. The music is by Jack Meekham. This is John Lang speaking for the Kraft Foods Company and inviting you to listen in again next week for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. Do the children in your family like cheese? Then you can just bet they like Pabstet. It's so rich in mellow cheddar cheese flavor, so easy to digest. Pabstead is a cheese food that contains the nourishing food values of milk. And it's simply delicious, spread on bread or on crackers, or melted into a luscious cheese sauce for macaroni. And now the ration points are no longer required, you'll want to buy both delicious varieties, Golden Pabstead and Pimento Pabstead. Ask for Pabstead, the delicious cheddar cheese food, when you shop tomorrow. This is the National Broadcasting Company.